Hello, my name is Kevin Pires. I'm going to talk real quickly about how to set up VNC access on the FTB1 Pro. So this is uh, very useful for uh, for those situations where you need to uh, uh, maybe share a screen or remotely log into a device um, or to remotely control a device if it's within the same network and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my FTB1 here. So I have an FTB1 Pro. And so the first thing I want to do is uh, decide how, how I want to connect my unit. So we can connect via Wi-Fi or directly through the uh, RJ45 uh, Ethernet interface. I prefer the latter. I like going strictly hardwired because it reduces the latency and I don't have to deal with the latency that can sometimes happen with Wi-Fi. So the decision's yours based on your availability. So essentially what you want to do is you want to get your unit onto an Ethernet circuit or get it on the internet or onto your network rather. Uh, that's the first thing we want to do. And then from there, down here within the toolbox screen, so we have toolbox running. If you scroll down here in the bottom right, you see the eye icon. You want to go ahead and select that. And then from here, go to platforms. And then I'll scroll down to my interface device. And so they'll have several in here. You might have your Wi-Fi, IPv6 information, different uh, LAN connections. In this example here, I am connected to this network here. So this is my IP address right here. So if you're looking at it, 192.168.10.126. Write down and remember that number. That is your IP address right now for this machine. It might change later on once the lease expires, but this is what it is right now. Um, and so once you have that set, once you have the IP address set, we need to set up VNC. And so set up a VNC server. I'm already logged into mine because that's how I'm displaying the screen here under my computer, but I'll still walk you through it. So the way that I like to do it is I like to pull up the VNC server. And the easiest way for me to do that is to type in the search address down here in the bottom left. So I'll type in search. And then in here, I'm just going to type in the word ultra. This is what... This is for the FTB1 version that I have, Ultra VNC Server. So you'll go ahead and click on that, and it'll start the application. It'll start the VNC Server, and that should load the VNC Server within my, my taskbar. So I'm going to go down here and expand my taskbar, and you'll see here that I have this eye icon, which is my Win VNC Server. You'll see the IP address. This particular one happens to be connected right now. That's why it's yellow. But in your instance, it will not be. So what you'll need to do is right click on this icon. Another way to right click is to use your stylus, hold down on the screen temporarily, and then let go. And that'll open up the right click menu. And then from there, you'll go to admin properties. And from admin properties, you'll see the two options for inputting VNC password. You can have one for view only and then one for... Uh, for more of an admin profile. In this situation, you know, I can put one for the VNC, so whatever password I want here, and then set a different one for, v for view only if I wanted to. And so here are my two passwords. And from here, I'll leave everything at default typically. Just hit apply and hit okay. Now my VNC server is running. I'll get this little pop-up asking me to a, uh, uh, to approve this through the user account control, I'll go ahead and hit yes. And then in the bottom right, it'll all be running and going good after I acknowledge a few boxes. Uh, now, if I want the VNC server to start up every time my platform does, I can go back into this and do the right click, hold down press again, and then I can install it as a service. I've already done it on mine, and this will install it as a service so when your computer starts to boot up, it'll start the VNC server application. And so it'll always be running in the background. And so with all of that set, all I have to do from my PC is to fire up my VNC uh, viewer client. So this is on my PC. And then I'll put in the IP address for this particular test set, all right? And as soon as I hit okay, it'll prompt me for a password and I'll put the password in. And then from there, I'll be logged into the unit and I'll, be, and I'll be able to control it. And so this year, fully logged in. One additional step I might perform if I'm doing screenshots for training 
is I'll go into the, the properties of my VNC server, and then I will set my, um, the look of my picture quality, whether it's automatic or high. I'll set it on high if I'm doing screenshots. That way I have the highest resolution. Um, if I'm starting to get delayed, then I'll reduce that. Then I'll hit OK, and that'll reduce, that'll increase the, the, the look and feel of, uh, of the interface. Um, and then from there, you know, with the server set, we're all set to go. And so that's essentially it in a nutshell. Uh, setting up VNC on the FTB1 Pro. Uh, my name is Kevin Pires. Thank you very much.